Okay, so hello, this is uh, Mark Barron. I'm getting ready to take um, a look at my clutch because this is a um, Air Conception 130 in there. So I'm going to take these screws out, pull this off, and hopefully uh, be able to put it back together. So, I don't know if you can see that, but that right for the uh, clutch shoe is actually broken and pushed out a little bit. So that might be what's causing it, because if that's rubbing on the belt housing, then of course it's going to spin. That's probably it. So I'm going to have to order new shoes. I have to call the guys at Aviator PPG and ask them. Um, that's exactly what it is. Cool. All right, hey guys. Um, so I'm back. Uh, I ordered the part from Aviator PPG, and uh, it came today. Um, it's Thursday, and I'm really wanting to fly tomorrow morning, um, Friday morning. So I took uh, tomorrow morning off, and I'm going to try and fly with uh, AI. Um, and it's supposed to be like 20 degrees tomorrow, so uh, I'm not looking forward to that part. But I do want to get this clutch working and see how it works, and hopefully it will fix all the problems. Um, I replaced the piston and the rings. Um, about two weeks ago and I have I've already had two flights um, two short flights in the same day with uh, Big Mike and that feels pretty good but the propeller um, spins even when um, I'm at idle and this is an e-clutch or e-start with a clutch and it shouldn't spin um, when I'm at idle so uh, came off a lot easier that time all right, so that's the bad one. Good one, bad one. So I gotta get that off. And I did confirm with Travis, who asked, asked uh, Eric, um, um, is it Eric? Uh, DeFore, if that spins this way to come off. That's where I need the impact wrench, and I don't have that with me right now, so I'm going to go get that. All right, so a little trick I learned on the internet if you don't have an impact wrench, <laughs> stick a cord down in the um, spark plug um, hole, and it'll bind the piston without damaging it. Then you can unscrew. The bolt. To the clutch. Right? It's coming off. Without a problem. I won't say without a problem until I get it all out. So that's on there somehow. But I don't know how to get that off. So, there is an extractor tool that you're supposed to use to get that off. Travis suggested I heat this thing up. Because it's got some uh, Loctite in it. So, borrowed the hairdryer. Ooh, this is warm. Hmm. 
Um, I'm impatient, so I'm going to take these plates off and try and replace them. But in order to do that, I have to back these um, springs out. And I want to mark it so that I put them back. It's a different one. I have to mark it on there. I really don't care what it is on this because I'm removing it, but I'll mark it anyway. One done. Wasn't so bad. I haven't put the screw or the um, I haven't put the spring back in, but I think that'll be okay. So, just got to take this one off, put it on there, and we're done. All right, so, uh, new shoes, or whatever I guess those are called. Um, so I put the new ones on, took the old ones off, um, because it was easier than getting this whole plate off. You need a special tool. Uh, to get this plate off. So rather than do that, I just took the shoes off of the new clutch and put it on the old plate. Um, and these, you know, C-clips, whatever they're called, um, they're pretty easy to take off with uh, a special tool. I just, I don't have the special tool. I have a pair of bent um, needle nose pliers. I guess those are, you know, made for that. I don't know. Um, but we're going to see how she works tomorrow. I'm going to try and fly tomorrow morning. Um, it's about 10 o'clock at night right now. Um, so I'm going to button it up and get some sleep and meet Brian out at the airfield at about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, I've already taken the day or the, the morning off of work. Um, I got the springs back in, so I think we're good. All right. Fast forward, and I'll see you later. Hello. All right, Mark and Brian again. It's uh, what? 26 degrees. 26 again. Okay. Do you, do you have your tennis shoes on? No, I got boots. All right, this time you got boots. Cool. Boots. Uh, but you're boots just wear, you're just wearing this, huh? Yeah. Well, I got a sweater. Oh, you're, you're layered. All yeah, right. Sweat, All right. Sweatshirt. Okay. So this is my first flight uh, with the clutch repair. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see how that works. And mm -hmm. you've got Naga's machine. Yep. Okay. We're gonna see how that works. <laughs> And uh, Wayne's wing, right? Wayne's wing and Naga's machine again. All right, cool. All right, see ya. You ready? Yeah. There you go.
All right, so Brian had to take off. Um, so I'll do the de debriefing here real quick. Um, it was a good flight. Uh, the first launch, not so good. I'm still thinking about whether or not I want to post that for everybody to see. Um, my working theory right now is that the repairs that I made um, to the piston and to the clutch have increased my power so much that I underestimated what going to full power would do. Um, I went to full power and it pushed me down to the ground basically. I'd, maybe I didn't lean back enough or I don't know, something's going on. But um, yeah, I did a face plant. So, but the second launch was good. Got up in the air and it was cold. So, um, but everything felt good. Um, I even went to idle several times and I noticed the prop um, stop behind me. So that feels much better. It hasn't done that in a long time. So um, I think we're good to go. Uh, yeah, the wind's probably still good to fly, but it's too damn cold. Um, all right, I'm gonna pack up and I'll see you guys later. Let me kick it like it's 1986.